<laughs> We've just made it to Heinz Dam now. We're gonna have our breakfast, and after breakfast, we're going to have a little ride or walk on the bridge. Kevin brought his electric scooter. <laughs> Try and be on the front. Yeah. Like, and how how are we gonna do this? Like. <laughs> Whee! This is what we're riding right now. Can't go in there. Um. Okay. I think we can go all the way down there. Yeah. Wow. So peaceful here. What would usually take us forever. To walk, it took just took us like two minutes yeah, to get here. Like, that would have been like a good like, like 10 minute. 15 minute walk. We've been here before, like multiple times. The only place that we haven't been to is all the way up there and like curve. So we haven't been past those trees. But yeah, this is the electric scooter my brother has. He bought this like was it three years ago? Yeah. It's called the wait nine bot. Yeah, nine yeah, bot. Nine bot. We were thinking like, oh my gosh, we can bring our bikes here or, or I don't know, the scooter. But the scooter is like way better because like you don't have to use as much energy. I'm really curious to see where this goes. Okay, so we're off now and so we park the bike right there. This is the end of the road, by the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think people go hiking here. So like there's like a gate and it's open. So... The lake's over there. We just drived all the way over to here. I'm guessing this is where people go hiking and stuff. Mountain bike precinct. So you can actually ride your bike up here. Can people actually go up here? I don't know. Oh, there's a mountain bike. So it's like, um, it, yeah, but what if like a bike comes down? So like, I don't think this is like, it's a mountain bike track. I don't think no, it's no, like, it's a track. is it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's a walking track. Let's check. It's one way. Oh, one way. So it's just most of them are one way. Mm. I don't know if it's safe to walk though, because like, oh yeah, if it's one way, then you can only really go up, like, right? You can't, oh, no. you can't come back down. No, I think you're supposed to go all the way up and then you ride your way down. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. At well, least that's what I've seen in the videos. It was nice. To, oh yeah, so to it says no walking, no camping. Okay, so yeah, I think it is just. Oh yeah, it's just for bikes then. You can't, yeah. we can't walk up there. Heinz Dam is super nice. You can basically come here to go walking, have long distance walks for a run. You can use your bicycle, scooter here. I think somewhere around here you can also go canoeing, mm. from what I remember. But not around here. I think there's like another spot that you can park your car and then get your canoe out. Um, oh, what does that? What does that sound? I don't know. Kevin, let's, get let's go. Let's get out of here. I hear a bike. That sounds let's sus. Go. That sounds so sus. Man. We, just like a... we just heard like a. We just heard like a. We out here. Let's go. Hey, he's leaving me behind. Kevin, wait. I'm not gonna walk all this way, bro. You need to transport me. Yes, transportation, taxi, taxi. It's like a painting, guys. I don't know if you can actually just see what I'm staring at right now. <laughs> like, the cloud. Yeah, there's the Heinz Dam down there. I think we could actually go down there. But yeah, today's such a nice day. The past week has been kind of cloudy and rainy. So, this today was the perfect day to come out here. <laughs> Put it nice and secure. Yep. It's the simple things in life. Okay, so we're probably gonna go home now. You guys will see the next shot. Me and Kevin are going home. Okay, we're not going home just yet. We wanna look at Spillway Lookout. So we're currently going up this little mini hill and we'll be able to see the actual dam. I remember last time I came here, you can actually feel the water like spit on your face.
goes all the way over to there. And then like right up there is where we were scooting before. And then right over up there is like the cafe. Well, that was nice. Okay, we're going to go home now. So I'll see you guys in the next shot. Okay, so my Amazon package just arrived. I use La Roche-Posay. This is actually super good. I've tried so many sunscreens where they leave like a white cast, but this one does a really good job at drying clear. So I highly recommend. This is a CeraVe Resurfacing Retinol Serum. Back then, I tried to find a really good retinol that was not too strong for my skin, especially because I'm still in my mid-20s. So I don't need anything too heavy and too powerful for my skin. This is what I also got. Niacinamide, 10% by The Ordinary. It's in a nice clear bottle like this one. I just noticed it really helps brighten my skin and it also helps with pimples, I'm pretty sure. Polish Choice Exfoliate, or Exfoliant. Skin Perfecting 8% AHA gel exfoliant here i love this as well and then the last thing i got on amazon is this la roche posay pure vitamin c 10 serum this is the first time i'm using this but i've heard really good reviews so it comes with a dropper nice oh i didn't know the bottle comes like this originally comes like this It's a turkey. Where? Right there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. 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 So we ordered nachos and calamari. So as you guys saw from the footage, we're here at Mount Kutha Lookout Summit and we've just ordered our food. So let's eat now. Oh my gosh, the view. Okay, so it's the next day and I've really been craving sushi this week. So last night I pre-ordered like this combo sushi pack. Also, I haven't had sushi in so long, so I think that's why I'm craving it now. So let's go pick it up. Last time I came to Australia was over one and a half years ago and I'm just looking at all of the petrol stations and I'm just like, when did it get so expensive? And I'm so close to this truck. Done. Okay, so we've arrived. I'm gonna go pick up the sushi now, so I'll bring you guys along. Okay, I got the goods. It is so hot today, what the heck. Okay, I've made it home now. Let's have a look at the sushi. It's inside this box here. Let me slide it up. Wow, look how good that looks. Scallop nigiri, there's crab stick nigiri, and this side is salmon nigiri, and I think this long strip here is the dragon roll. And there's also ebi tempera prawn. Salmon. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my food and I'll see you guys in the next shot. Hey guys, it is another day. We are going grocery shopping today. And before we go grocery shopping, I'm going to have some lunch and maybe a drink. So yeah, maybe like a smoothie or something. And then 
we'll go grocery shopping. <laughs> Here guys, I am so full. That bowl, it almost killed me. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize what I ordered would be so much food. Please get the famous Lebanese. That one. Uh, yes, please. And uh, just the small. Looks like this side is just dried fruits. Japanese plum cake. Like $3.60, is that cheap for tomato sauce? So I just checked. Woolworths is $2.40 and it's $3.60 here. So I think I'll go to Woolworths for the tomato sauce. Okay, I want like a spicy noodle. I love this one. Miyagiri, put that in there. Get one of those. Miyagiri. Go with these ones. Got this. guys saw before those noodles were so filling oh my gosh like it was really like around $22 I'm not sure how much that is in US but I was shocked when they brought it out to me I was like am I gonna be able to finish this next time I would definitely bring someone with me to eat that because it is so filling but the other place is called famous mocktails and basically you can get a bunch of juices and smoothies and acai bowls i think you can get an acai bowl there one inside and in there okay my let me know Okay, so we're back at home and I want to give a little haul of the stuff I got. Whitening strips. Whitening strips here. I've tried these before and they're actually really good. There was a point where it did make my teeth a little sensitive, so I didn't complete the 14 days. I think I completed like 10 to 12 days of it, but actually did a really good job. Moisturizer. This is the usual moisturizer that I like to use. It's a really good moisturizer that I wear under my makeup or just for every day. This is my usual face wash that I also use. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam. I got some hand cream because it's autumn in Australia right now and yeah, so this is the Aveeno Intense Relief Hand Cream Intense Moisture. Oh, this is what I use to take off my eye makeup. It is really effective. This is called the Nivea Double Effect Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And yeah, I will see you next week.